Okay, uh, hello from Excel Wizard. Today is model of 2013 final pack game by Dan Mayo. I've done this one with Brutal Force. But I usually don't like Brutal Force one, but this is really, really hard to do with normal one. But I'll recommend everyone to watch a uh, dim early version, which is I think this is one of his masterpiece of recursive Ramda. It's really good rhetoric and very good explanation. Okay, uh, let's see the case here. So this is a uh, pick game. We have a board of eight row and four columns, and we can put uh any piece with they call it pick here on anywhere in this board. And then if three or more pegs uh, form a continuous line, horizontal or vertical, and that will call a group and we can remove all that group out. And the goal of this game is try to remove most of the peg out to get the less minimum points as possible. So there are some sample here and the file is in the description where dim is collect all the module of file okay so like okay this one we can form like many way in group of three like this one so we can go just f four in a row here and then we will miss this two this bottom two here so the the most effective way is to go on this one so like in connected point here we can go horizontal or vertical and this point also depend on how you choose it but we want to minimize the point so this is the optimal one okay and this is the board and we have the easy one where can we can have like only one one group of peg here it, anyways and then uh, there will be a hard one like all this so this this point we can go horizontal or vertical this also same and like we have to create a group very carefully to make everything disappear okay so I'm just gonna start with this one I'll just refer just copy this okay so this is my start bot control shift V here. So we start with EC one first. I'll usually I'll let C is my input here. And then we have the point here which is from two power by zero to seven. So I want to create that one first so sequence. Um I think the Row is fixed. I'll just use rows of Z here. This give me eight, and then this is will be R, and then start by zero. And this will be my uh row count. So uh, S here. <laughs> Still really bad with naming here. So this is my S. Start from zero to seven. Use this one because I want the point. So P is the point is from two power by S here to get all this point. And the lowest one have the most point here. Then as usual, I'll do this one with the, okay, I'll just do it. Don't know how to explain. So S multiplied by 10, I got. So to increase the row, I increase this by 10. And then in the column, I use sequence of four in column here. So this means uh, this is at number address of each location here. So that means I can go plus 10 minus 10 to like go to each row, plus one minus one to go each column here. And this one will be my NO no, number here. Uh, and oh, okay, stop it here. So if I'm at this number two, I want to check the horizontal. So 
Let's say N is 2 here. I want to check horizontal. That means I have to go to... We want to check the three connected part. So I'll just go like this. So, okay, sequence of 5 start by minus 2. So this is the direction of moving in horizon. So if I'm start at the 2 here, so I add N plus 2. I got like this. So this point, I have to check 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, and then 2 here, I also check back backward here, so to like 0, 1. And from this, I have to check if there are any number 1 here. So I'll go with XLOOKUP on to call of NO, and then to call of C here. I'll just stop like this. Okay, so we have up this. So we have at one, we have zero, and then two, three, four, we have one here. And then zero, we don't have anything. So NA, so this one, I'll just, if not found, give me zero, and then I'll just concat everything here. Now, I want to check if it connect more than three. Like, uh, not more than three, more than two. So the connected one, I can split that one with take split with zero. Yeah. So I have zero, zero, and one, one, one here. And I want to know the length, so just length here. Now I know that I have three here, and then I uh, just want the maximum one. So max. Then. I know that this point I can get three, and then if I check at twelve, uh, twelve doesn't have anything. So, uh, what fourteen? Mm -hmm. Fourteen. I maximum on this direction is one. So this is the that uh horizontal direction, and then vertical. I have to do the same, but. I think I just change this one to 14, right? Okay. For vertical, I just add multiply this one by 10. So this two is come from this two. All right, maximum of two. So this one, I have to do the same thing on horizontal direction and vertical direction. So better use, okay, before that use, no, yeah. This one, I just use the, okay, before that, I want to check off every point here. So I'm gonna choose map, and O, and then lambda, lambda N, and then max of all this, and then go this. So this is the map. So check all point here. So at this point, I have connected two, but actually I don't want to check this one because this is zero. So instead of just map and oh, I'm, I want to map that's Z and then the peg, also peg. So if we have peg in P, then check all this. And if not, then go zero. So now I got only check all the peg here. Now this is in horizontal one, and this is H. Want to go vertical, so vertical is almost the same, except that I change this one to 10, right? And this is V here. So this is checked in vertical direction, so we only have two here, two here, so. Then I have to check it together, and this is like really duplicate one, so better make lambda for this one. So lambda of H and V. And then I need how many? So I need this one. So I can reuse it. So C here. And then this number, which is direction. So, oh, wait, I have to use that. No, I have already have that. 
this one and then lambda lambda c which is the input of one zero here and then the direction which is d and then all of this cross okay now i can check the vertical by hv of the input c and then direction is 10 here so hopefully it's still be the same yep so this mean my edge here i can just go with hv on c by one here uh -huh. then uh another thing is i only want that the lenders is three or more so with this map just somewhere inside here i want to check if it's more than two which is three so we got two fault two faults here and then uh check together with horizontal and vertical so i can get this one with this hmm? So this is my edge. Right. Now I have to really wait. HV two and HV of ten. Oh wait, I have I forgot to change this one to D. Yep. Then okay, plus hv of c by 10 here so give me h here so this is like only one direction so let's check another something like more okay i'll just do this one first so if there's only one that's gonna be easy so if only one i can just if this one give me the point which is p and this will be the point that i want to remove so i'll just sum everything here i got three here and then this is remove point and uh, the total point will be the all point so if c p and sum everything here so this is two three four right okay i don't want to change that one yet okay let's check this one this value we got one eight seven so this is work for level one easy one now let's go for like more harder one okay it's still um point A Okay now so this one we at this point at this point we can go like two direction so okay this is not the nine I just put it here so go back go back here so this is H now we can see that this point this point we can go either vertical or horizontal and then i don't know just go this way so i have to this thing between horizontal and vertical so i just i modify this one so this mean two is go vertical and one is horizontal and then three i can go either horizontal or vertical so from this i have to like do another check so okay this one if i go two here that's mean i can go to two and two here like this then when i connect the point i can connect all these two together and these two together this mean when i concat or like okay if i concat this one then I want to check the horizontal one. I have to split zero as uh takes split zero as I used before, but there's no zero here. 
and this one I only want to check the horizontal one so another thing is I want to split two so to get like this or like when I have do this I have I have two uh, I can grab this part and grab this part so I can in the horizontal one I get one 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 here so this is another thing that I try to do here so to make that function work okay so this mean I have to set a uh, split another thing here so this mean I'm uh, gonna split this one edge here and where's my text split here not just zero I want to split h2 but I want this to be option so hard bracket here so this one I still can get the same thing here but if I want to check this thing uh, this here right I want and I think this is my edge no okay but why is this one so this is my y here so hv of y by one got this and this is called true 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 because it's connect everything i want it to connect this point doesn't have horizontal attached because this one is two so this one i have to also get rid this one I have to split another two here and I got NA because when split is not equal I have to it give an A here so I have to put zero here okay now it's better so this mean that I can connect this one in horizontal but this one I, only thing to connect is horizontal uh, vertical here so this one you can go like HV in Y with 10 which is vertical and then I have to get rid of auto so split one here so this is how I split each one and then I can use this function to like calculate the point here which is uh, if this one give me point and then sum everything here get 19 if I connect it this way but now this number 3 here is can go like 2 on 2 here or if I go 1 I got 20 if I go 2 here I still get 19 so that mean for each 3 I have to I can choose two way which is 1 or 2 and that is a binary mm -hmm. So from that, we have to check how many tree in that. So I'll just go with n. Am I? So n is number of tree, which is come from sum of n by h equal to three. Mm -hmm. I'll just get rid of this one first okay i just keep this to use later and this is n now i have two that's mean i can go like one two here and then one and two here this mean i can go two power of n i can go four different way and this is what i mean by brutal force my brutal force i have to run through all the three so if there are like more more tree that's gonna make this one slower okay so from this i can change this one to binary which is uh okay i just go sequence first sequence seq and then start by zero and then i change this one to binary which is base of two and length is number of 
that one which is n here and then this one zero zero i can just change this one back to one and one and then one and two two and one one and two here but the problem is how can i change each one here so the way to do this one i think quite long about this but finally came up with this one so i join everything here so text no text so i'll just contact everything here then I will have three there, and then I take split three. I got this, so this means the tree is missing, and then I have to replace missing tree with one one here, and another zero is one two two one, and then two two here. So, and finally I will get like this. So text join on this two and i want to include empty cell in case three is together and then this one so this means i replace right replace that three with where is it uh one two one two here and then at some point yeah one one two two here somewhere so this is what i want so to do this, okay. Okay, this is my target and this is my formula. Do this one, uh, not easy. So I have this one and then I have to split everything and connect everything. So this one I'll use map. This one and then uh, this is binary, lambda B here. Okay, I just skip B first. Not do anything yet. This I have to do this text split first. So okay. T is text split of H. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now to do this one I have to do text join and then meet every part of this one. So meet of B by sequence of number which is n in column by one and this will give me zero and zero i have to add one here and then i'll just concat this one first so this one change zero zero to one one zero one to one two and then i can take join this and then uh, not ignore empty with t to get somewhere it's not text join meet zero text one wait something is on cat join this then zero and two. Okay, good. So this is create of all this. And then after this, I have to spread it back to this one. By mid, uh, mid each row here by sequence of eight and four, and this is fixed. And then one to get to get it back to this one. And then with this. I need minus minus here to change it number and with this one I can go with all of this to get the sum of each horizontal and vertical one. So this one I can use another let hash okay I'll just go with G here. This is my G and my G is mid of this one by sequence of eight, but I have R here. So I use R for column and one. 
and make this one number and then okay I'll just return the sum first sum of G wait mid mm. cross 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 okay then the one that I want is this formula somewhere here so this is the formula sum all the point so this is sum and then this one become my g this is g here to get all the points so this is all the point from each each chain here okay then to get the maximum minimum point i want to deduct maximum point here so this one i want maximum of this okay then now the most deduction is 19 and then i can go with my previous formula where that's my this one sum of everything when when okay but just sum of everything and minus max of this one Okay, this I got twelve. Okay, let's check here. No. Wait. Okay, I got twelve, and this in is incorrect. Mm. Oh wait, I have to refer this one to this. Okay, better. Cal, something I got Cal because at some point the n is zero. So when n is zero, I don't want to do all this thing. So I think I have some formula somewhere here. I think no. Okay, this where is it? Nah, yeah. So this one, this where I just sum all the p here. So if n is zero, I just don't want to do that map thing. Okay. So here. So if n. So if n has some number, just do all this max stop here. But if not, just do this one from the beginning that we do this with one direction okay think oh, cross cross yep okay now think see everything is all right okay let's check the marking we'll check everything here and have to take some time Hopefully not too slow. Okay, it's done here. I got all oh, hundred point. So this is what I got so far. But actually, I want to do some more, but it's thing beyond my my ability here. So okay, sample is this one. And this one, how many n I have here? Okay. So, uh, I don't want this one. I just want to check the n. Okay, n. So this is seven. That's, that's b. This means I have to go to power seven, which is still very low here. Uh, the checks. Okay, this is seven. Thing. Oh, wait, wait. 
this one I have to check from on top here okay oh so this one have 14 and 4 wow it's a bit too 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 oh yep so it's 5 11 14 so I think the maximum is 14 here so this one can run quite fast here Just pick the one with ah, can't remember five. Fourteen is can't remember which one. Okay, just go with twelve here, and then okay with this twelve. Okay, uh, that fourteen is still only go like six. 1600 uh 16000 is still quite fast but it could be like 20 and this million is going to break the formula so the one that I want really want to do but I don't know how is yet so with this one okay this one I run through every tr this point of 3 here I think I just go with uh equal to three so i do binary one and zero on all these three points but actually if we okay i'll just go equal to this one okay uh a hey. okay no? Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. One here. Okay. So the point is this this point here it can go like horizontal or vertical, but if I go horizontal vertical here, it mean this one can only go by two. That's mean I have I have less Let's try to go here, but still don't know how to like move on from this one. So if I have to go this two, and then this one reduce to just one choice here, and then that will reduce reduce quite a lot here. So like, so just like this one. If this one go by two, then okay this one still can go to oh, okay that is i think yeah, that that is too much but okay that is what i got so far so this one okay i think that's all for today thanks for watching and have a nice day and i'll just leave the link to the file in the description bye